All right, guys, what's going on? We've got the 11th War of Season 26 here, and today for Loki is going to be facing New Nation again. Um, it's like tradition. We face them at least two times a season. Not a huge deal. Um, but in this war, I am going to be going for the like all-time solo streak record. So um, the first thing I'm going to do actually when I join this map, it's the same thing I did when I joined the, the last map. It was to look at the boss. I was hoping for an apocalypse boss. Um, you know, I have don't remember how many bosses I've taken on the streak. I think it's been like four. But the person who held the record or is holding the record currently in this video, um, I think that they took like, they soloed eight bosses. So I was kind of trying to like stay on, not stay on pace with them, um, but kind of, I don't know, like make it fair, more fair. Um, so either way, looking around, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be. I see some okay options, but as soon as I see uh, White Mummies, uh, six star rank three man thing at the end of four five six in section two i know i'm going to be s involved in the one of those three lanes somewhere um i have taken that fight every time we faced them and yeah so i, I pretty much know that's going to be my fight but that's the only thing that i really know for sure i'm not you know i thought i might take that thor as well but Omega really is the best option for that man thing. So we're gonna go ahead and join Omega, Sabretooth, and Magneto. And I'm gonna be starting off on path six in section one. So um, I do not like lanes where one of two things can happen, where power can get out of control or damage can get out of control based on like um, AI behavior. Because I think that the AI like, pretty much always behaves in a way that like favors the node, if that makes sense. So um, here I was, I don't know, I was, I hate these aggression fury nodes. Uh, they make me super nervous. You can see like right now he's not wanting to throw his special one. Um, if I wasn't using Magneto and like lowering his ability accuracy, he would have had a lot more furies there. So I do, you know, just, I'm trying to be aggressive, but at the same time, I don't want to push him to a special two if I can avoid it. So, trigger protection there, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm going to bait out the special one. I'm going to go for an intercept here, get the protection off, and just throw the special three. Should do okay damage, and it won't trigger protection. Um, but it will give me a fury, and it also gives him two bars of power, so because of the strike back. So the special two isn't a huge deal. Um, you can evade out of the last part of it and punish it, no problem. Um, you can see I did trigger protection again, but he's got like 1% health left, not a huge deal. Fight's over. And then um, this is gonna be a rank three hit monkey. And this node has, um, I think it's power alternator and power focus one. So um, this is uh, definitely not a great placement for Hitmonkey. I think a lot of people tend to like want to quake this node, so maybe that's why he's here. But you'll see um, with Hitmonkey, I like to just do like one hit combos, give him as little power as possible. Um, so there, got him to a special one. I'm not going to knock him down, it's just completely unnecessary for this fight. You can see full yellow bar, like 30 second fight, super, super easy. And that fight tied me for the all time four Loki record for solo streak. And this fight, if I play it well, will be what puts me in first place. So um, I do not want to mess up this fight. Definitely do not want to mess up this fight. Um, I've been you know, building the streak for, this is my third season now. So I just want to play well. Um, so yeah, there's not a ton to say about this fight. I've taken it before. 
I think last time I took it, or maybe the time before, um, like I hadn't eaten, I was starving, and I like forgot how to counter Nick Fury's heavy with my heavy. So here, um, I don't punish that because I know that it's gonna push him into his life model decoy, or push him into like the real Nick phase. And I just do not want to deal with that. So here he's gonna throw the special wand into my block. Um, surprise, surprise. Get an intercept there, he is unblockable. But I'm gonna throw my special three. And this should finish him. I was pretty, pretty boosted for this fight. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll take a screenshot, of course, for the for the memories. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that puts me in first place for the uh, solo streak record. Let's see if we can keep that streak going for um, <laughs> for the rest of this war. So I do have a pretty sketchy fight coming up here. So um, the original plan was there's a spider ham on the next node on path five here. The original plan was for me to take this fight with Magneto and Pete to go to the spider ham fight. It'd be like 30 seconds. Uh, spider ham doesn't benefit from the protect global at all. He has a pretty small health pool, so the fight would just be over, like, super, super quickly. Um, however, we had somebody who was not able to join uh, this war. They had stuff going on. I think that they had mentioned it, like, a week in advance. So, um, Taters had to, like, redo the paths, um, like, once we had all already joined. So there wasn't really an ideal counter uh, for this lane. So I just kind of had to take the next fight um, with an unideal matchup, I guess is the, the right way to put that. Um, it, it, was a, it was a bad matchup, and um, you'll, you'll see how that goes. So this fight, pretty boring. Um, my goal here is to build up my prowess, intercept him, and throw off the uh, special three. However, the more armors he has, um, the lower, I think, my ability accuracy or the higher his ability accuracy, I don't remember which one, um, doesn't really matter. You're going to see that it's going to prevent me from building up, or it was preventing me from building up prowess. So now I have like my 30-something prowess, but they're falling off, and I need to intercept him. So I got my intercept off. I'm going to throw this with only 10 prowess, which is so stupid. Um, just huge, huge oversight on my part. But it still does pretty good damage, right? Only 6 bleeds. Not a huge deal, though. Um, I just need him to throw his special. And then you see there, um, when the shrapnel bleed, like the last tick of the bleed takes over. Um... He just loses a huge, huge chunk of health, and I actually shut off the node. <laughs> um, Magneto completely shut off the ability for his protection to come back, so the rest of this fight is just going to be a normal fight. Um, you know, unless he gets protection from the global, but the node, like the ebb and flow intercept is gone. So that's it, fight's over. Not too bad. So I was nervous about that fight. And then when I found out I was taking this fight, I was super nervous for it. So there's like a lot of nuances with how Spider-Ham works that I wasn't aware of going into this. But um, basically like the more power I have, uh, the more he's going to be able to do stuff like evade. Um, he'll become immune to my degeneration. So here I'm like trying to... I'm, I'm trying to just out damage the no, that's my goal here. But now that I have a bar of power, you can see that he's getting um, those little charges, like it just lit up green. Those are his spider nonsense charges, and you can see he's taking like almost no damage from my degeneration. And he will be able to um, evade me. So there, um, uh, ate two heavies in a row. I'm waiting for his spider nonsense to go away so that he can't evade me anymore. 
Um, and this is just like a total nightmare. I look at his health, I look at my health, I'm like, oh man, he's still got like 40% left. Um, I have way too much power. He's gaining his spider nonsense stuff way too quickly. Um, this, you know, this could, this could end my streak right here. Um, so this kind of like gives me some health back. I think it gave me like 15% health. Um, I was waiting for his little spider nonsense charges to go away. They have, um, I barely have any power here, so yeah, I'm in pretty good shape, but I really want to get an intercept. And now I have over a bar of power, so I'm going to go ahead and use my special attack uh, just to try to keep him from evading me so that I can get an intercept and just get out of this fight. This was super scary. Okay, so there, I finally got my intercept, right? Um, he is taking almost no damage from my degeneration. Uh, right there I threw the special one, I was way too late, get hit again, now I have like one of his poppers on me, I can't throw any more special attacks, he has his protection back up, but he only has 5% health left, um, however now he's able to evade me, it's, this just was a complete nightmare like this, 100%, not an Omega fight, I know that for next time, um, but, you know, I just beaten the record, so I didn't want to, like, complain about a fight. There was literally nothing we could do. Um, that Hulkbuster is unghostable. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is just kind of how it, how it turned out. So, uh, moving on to the next fight here. I know this, this guy, uh, White Mummy, I know his, um, you know, like, this defender well. I know that he runs 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion. I am comfortable with this fight. You saw that I put an invulnerability boost on. I use it for this fight and I also used it, I threw it on for the last fight as well. Um, so I know that I need an invulnerability boost or at least like a special three defense boost. Um, you could probably also use like a power start one boost for this fight, but I, I just knew I was going to get hit against that spider ham. So. You can see I've only intercepted him once. I'm not overly concerned. He's, a, he's at a special three right now. Again, I don't care. Um, I'm at a full yellow bar. And he's at 15%. So, not, not overly concerned with this. So he's getting a little bit of regeneration. Not a huge deal. Lock in my spores, just kind of like let him die. Fight's over, so very, very straightforward. Um, if you see that placement, it is a good placement. Um, I just think that Omega Red is like a perfect counter for it. And then this, um, I do have a Guidance Boost placed on here uh, to bypass the Limber. And this is going to be a MODOK. This has brute force on it. That's pretty much the only thing to be concerned with here. And I'm going to be using Omega Red. I asked Taters, I was like, should I use Omega or Magneto for this? Um, he said, no question, Omega. Um, probably just because the damage is higher. And, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the global. So, here we go, locking in some spores block the special two. I had like weird timing on that. Brute force is on me, but I don't, I don't really care. Um, the only thing that's annoying is the spacing of, um, like the, the pre-fight, the guidance pre-fight, I guess. Pushes you back pretty far. Go ahead and lock in the spores again, uh, with the uh, brute Force, you really don't have to worry about it at all. Um, and with the Guidance pre-fight, just completely bypassing the Limber, which is like the hardest part about that fight. It's a nothing fight. So, that is actually my last fight of the war. So, a uh, pretty tough one actually. 
you can see that um, I did pass the streak. The previous record was 181. My streak is 186 now. Um, almost lost it to that spider ham, which would have been like super annoying. Um, and I did also get like a, a silver coin for this. And I also got a really awesome card that Taters made with the help of Cat uh, Murdoch. And I will show that in the next video. Um, but yeah, so we did lose this war, of course, um, always lose to New Nation, um, they died one time, I know that that's super low, even for them, and it always works out that way, they clear our map with like, you know, one to three deaths, just super, super annoying, I absolutely hate fa facing these guys, um, but either way, one more left of the season, I will get that uploaded ASAP, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.